Check this out guys, mangoes falling from the tree. Oh my god, here comes the rain! Here it comes! <laughs> <laughs> gonna put it or soil into the house where the gaps in between the foundation walls but uh, we still have to put a lot of soil in the back so we have to remove all of this further back here because we're gonna take maybe three four meters of the soil land here so that's about three meters but I think we have to go maybe four or five. Don't underestimate the soil. Check this out, they're about to uh, move the house. Whoa! Nice one! Lunch break! <clears throat> we brought some bread, peanut, and jam. So all of this uh, coconut beer is now brought in here to do the roof. So we're getting a whole bunch more of that. Very nice. Barut, bamboo. Bamboo. From there. So all of the material here, guys, we're using is uh, from the land. Even the cement, the steel, it's all from Philippines. And this one we're going to use for the seats. And maybe some of it uh, reinforce the roof of the Nipa hut. Super smooth. Quick update, the Baco is full blast. I think three days now. We cut about additional three and a half meters. And I'm loving it. I'm actually super happy about this problem we had. That we need extra soil. Because now we're actually having much more area here in the back. Which is fantastic. It was a bit narrow breaking in a car here so now we open it up quite a bit and we still have plenty of space in the background so where about the car is now that's the edge of our lot and then in the future we're gonna plant a lot of big trees here far away from the house just to create some shading and during uh, days like this in the exposed elements can't really do much but we got the window and there's a few uh, hardware stores here in Dumaguete. This is, uh, where's the sign? Oh, there. <laughs> Sydney Hardware. Let's see if we can find something. Although it's nice to come here. For example, this one is 650, but the one we bought in Shopee is only 50 pesos. So 10 times cheaper on Shopee. And it's working. Yeah. It's but you, fun. Finn bought a lot of those, like around five. <laughs> I mean four. And the ones like this too, right? Remember? Ooh, oh yeah, this one we bought as well on Shopee. Like at least half the price. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Right? Similar, yeah. So this kind of roof is perfect for the greenhouse. Because here in the Philippines, especially in the rainy season, every night it's like a rain so fast and in the morning it's sun so it's not good for the the, the plants like too much of rain it's not good 
Yeah, so some plants don't like the leaves to be super wet. Yep. So yeah, we're gonna buy some of this in the near future when we finish our house when we get a bug out of house. We didn't buy much this time around. We got uh, sort of a sundan in a curved way to peel off the bamboo and our sharpening stone. And so let's go back to Don. Okay. It's Saturday, it's a beautiful day here in Darwin and we're getting water for the boys. I think we have about 14 tanks now. We also brought a big cooler. So we're gonna fill that in with ice, mix it with the water because as you see, it's, uh, it's extremely hot for the boys working now. So we just wanna make their lives a little bit easier with cold water. <laughs> Check it arrived. Oh yeah, yeah, you don't have a one lot of ice, then we cannot eat. Yeah, no rice, no way we can eat, baby. Yes, How are we made? Uh, <laughs> uh, we eat. No food. rice, we. <laughs> Only the food. That's it. Let's go. It's a disaster, guys. There's no rice. Okay, this is one of the advantages living here in Tumaket, or around uh, Dawa and Tumaguete. For example, we start off this morning, 9 a.m. and we, I did banking. We went to, uh, what was the? Hypermart. Supermarket, Hypermart. I shopped mattresses, pillows, coolers, and then um, uh, we went to the gas station, filled up four liter gasoline, we went, got the water, a few new uh, bottles, and then the chicken now, and some soft drinks, and another sari sari. All of this, and back into Dawin in two hours and 35 minutes. Like, this is impossible when we were living in Cebu. There's no way we could do so many tasks in short amount of time. So, this is one of the advantages living in this part of the country. Anyways. Just also, wanted to share that, huh? Also the road. Of course, the road is just boom, straight, four lanes. And a super fast tricycle in front of <laughs> us, so we gotta slow down a bit. Whew. <laughs> you drive too fast, Kuya. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> passing by. <laughs> it is a four lane here. See? No. Tow away zone. Tow away zone there. So when you're driving here, they already implemented these uh, modern things in terms of the highway here. So we arrived exactly 12. I mean, it's just amazing all the things we just did. And then up in the land in three hours. Temperature check, 35 degrees. Woo, we have a pillow. pillow. The bamboo is much softer. Always trust the bamboo. We have a situation, guys. The buckle broke down. One of the hydraulic pumps that connect to the uh, fork. So we're getting a mechanic, but we have a backup plan as well. We might be getting uh, another slightly bigger buckle because the soil is so freaking hard that is uh, putting, I believe, a bit too much strain on the machine. So uh, it's just part of the fun, and uh, let's see what happens. Boys, what happened to the buckle? Oh, gigubak nak, sir. Unsa? Yes, I gigubak, sir. Woo, I don't know. Yes, I gigubak. No split, man. Got some ice. So the beeps are up. We still got six guys doing soil filling. That's going on pretty quickly. I'll show you in a second. The backhoe is still uh, not working and we're getting a bigger one coming up as well to do some road work. But check this out. Well, this part is the swimming pool. Here's a shallow part where the baby, uh, the baby, the baby section. So it's like around 45. It was supposed to be 60 deeper, 60 centimeters. Now we change it to the 45 because uh, six days quiet D for the baby, you know, the baby section. As well when you're sitting. Yeah, as well too. Yeah, and 45 centimeters felt better. Mm -hmm. Also, the design is simple. We want simple, not, not crazy, like curve and everything. We just want to be the box, I mean the rectangle. Yeah, so 45 centimeter 
deep part here mm -hmm. all of that from there all the way there and then this is the 2.2 meters back there coming along very good i'm happy to see them already start that mm -hmm. they said that it was so slow actually it was so fast what we're doing now yeah we're actually we're talking uh in the previous clips here that we, we felt it was a bit slow now but when you think about it the foundation is always the slowest part the biggest thing of every construction and we're pretty much done the pool the house foundation is complete and we're about 30 days in with 15 plus guys at the beginning it was just four of them and a machine for two and a half weeks but now let's get in there let's get in there Even so far. Hmm. That is far. I know, it's just chocolate. <laughs> so we're doing the electrical right now. Or not doing it but uh, selecting outlets. So we have one, two, three, so far twenty-eight outlets. And that's the first floor, second floor, maybe four more. So thirty plus outlets. Ooh. Was it funny or was it a bad one? Lame. Was it lame? Oh yeah. Sorry, Sorry about the background cutting lumber noise. But it is lunch time. We only got fruits with us. Oy, 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 oy. Only fruits with us today. Yeah, Jack. That's fruit. What's it called? Marang something? Yeah. You're right. Marang? It is so alien-like, all these tiny sticks sticking out and when you touch it, it's like mushy and soft <laughs> and it's very simple to open, you just rip it up I mean. Jack, no, go back, go back, go back, sit, stay there, and smoke it is creamy for sure. Slight sweetness and a hint of uh, sourness. Very funky taste. Like Kulas would say, it was as funky. Pretty good how Jake. Mm. Looking at you. I think the first bite is so-so, uh, but uh, the next one and the next one gets better and better. So creepy. Glossy textures, nice seeds in between. You know what's the nice thing about this one? The seeds peel off like butter. Unlike uh, Rambutan or Lanzones, you kind of have to be careful around the seed. This one. You want some, Jake? Mm. I'm not sure fruit is good for you, buddy. Only vegetables, potatoes. Nice punko. Mm -hmm. That's the next level one. Mm. This is quite interesting because uh, I'm actually learning a bit from the boys. Cutting the bamboo, <laughs> put a soda, and then bam. Oh my god, here comes the rain! Here it comes! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Just made yes. it! <laughs> that was literally a second! Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Five seconds? Oh no, there it comes again. <laughs> Whoa, that is the first raid in two months. Love it.
What a timing, we just arrived while it was dry. I'm so happy right now that we finally got rain, guys. It's pouring slightly right now, not too much, and we're gonna plant one of these uh, trees here. And it's a, uh, it's not a tree that's gonna grow really tall. It's more like a bush, flowery. So we're gonna locate it probably around these big trees. So when you're looking from the house, you will see a nice patch of whew, white flowers. Let's find a better cover. Wait at the rain and then we dig it in. No time to waste, guys. We'll do it at the rain. It'll dry up. Five minutes. Huh? Push my hand. are so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Smooth. Yeah, smoothing all of this here. We don't want it to be stuck in our what? <laughs> you know. Some paper. Okay. We have a slight situation with the bako. Uh, the work was in the According to plan, let's just put it that way. So uh, we're bringing in the original bako that was uh, much bigger and uh, very good to work on it. So we're bringing in the new bako again. And he's also gonna create the road that is according to the subdivision plans here. So this, if you remember, is only a temporary road. So we're gonna finish that project all in one at the same time instead of bringing it like next year. We're just gonna do it right now because we need a backhoe to do the corner, of course. And it's been raining, but they still came. I'm surprised by that. <laughs> I love these boots. Check this out, guys. Mangoes falling from the tree. Lots of mangoes here. You should climb up, get some mangoes. We're everywhere. I even think these are the good ones. They always start green and they become yellow. Wow, lots of them. Now the reason why this Baco didn't finish it the first time is that it actually broke down as well. So we had two Bacos break down now, but it seems to be repaired. So let's finish the job. During the summer season, they are in high demand, these machines. So it's very hard to get them. So they like brought it down, fixed it, and hit, and it was rented to another project right away. So uh, this is what it is. We'll get it back up. Yes. So he will actually start working tomorrow. It's been a bit rainy, so he wants to do that. Perfectly fine with me. We'll do the corner and all around the house and the pool and then uh, finish off by the road. We'll show you probably in the next video. Are you having trouble walking? <laughs> you want to see what it looks like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of soil that we have here. Hey, that's like everywhere in the Philippines that I've been to. That's Not classic. <laughs> 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 It's so... You gained probably 15% weight by walking here a bit. And 5 centimeters or 10 centimeters. <laughs> yeah. Let's check out the tree. Something about the color that just... Oh. What are these ants doing? Additionally, I have a test a cable here in between 
the italicized tree just to give it a slight stability for the first year while the roots are expanding out. Here it is, the white flower. I have no idea what name it is. Seems pretty good and I decided to put it here just around the edge of the slope because in the flat area we don't want to occupy that with bushes or trees. So just around it so it kind of might actually bend into or cover some part of the flat area for shade in the future. Let's see. Beautiful white flowers. Almost like rose. We are invaded by the flying ants. <laughs> they are everywhere. <laughs> I guess that's what happened after long periods of dry spells and then rain. It's a chemical for termites. So the name is... Angelia? Yeah, Hydrate? Hid yeah. Lidrite. Yeah. Hid okay. Mix that with some water? Yep. All right, working on drop here. Uh, yeah, good day so far. So Heavy far. rain in the morning and then afternoon. It's been uh, pretty easy. Only six guys working today. Uh, hopefully we see some more of them tomorrow. Yeah, now it's gonna kick ass with the new Bacco and uh, I'll be coming here early in the morning to advise him a bit. Do it my way. Mm, tomorrow, we're gonna come back here tomorrow and then the next day. Yeah, she goes to seek your whore. Yeah, with my best friend and to get the oral. I told Finn earlier that I'm gonna say hi from secure from yeah, here. We can see Siki whore so we can just wave at each other, no problem. Just <laughs> like you're here. Huh? <laughs> anyway, peace out.